Would you do 200? 200? Yeah. Okay, yeah, I would do that, I 200's guess. 200's okay? Yeah. I've got a lot of cards to go through here. Yes, this was my local flea market score. Well, not super local. It's about a 40 minute drive from where I'm located in Toronto. But my goodness, uh, thank God I asked because they didn't have any magic cards that I could see. And he just pulled some out from behind the desk. And it looks like it was a collection they might have bought, I don't know how long ago. It's It's been sitting there for a while. Uh, there's a lot of commander cards in there. I was able to go through a decent amount, kind of just checking to see the value. He said he was gonna sell them for like a dollar each. Actually, I will link the last video in the description just in case this is the part two to it, so you could check out the actual flea market that I go to. But he was asking for about a dollar a card, and I thought that was like pretty steep. So I was going through a little bit, and I was like, well, this is worth over a dollar, this is worth over a dollar. So I pulled them out, but it felt like it was getting very tedious, so I just made him an offer. 200, he accepted, so I'm going to go through it looks like uh, at least 4,000 cards. This is going to be intense. All right, let's get to it. All right, we have one and a two deck boxes here. We also have a massive purple bag ah, right here filled with containers of magic cards. We're gonna start with that, and then we're gonna leave these long boxes for last. It looked like there was a lot of basic lands in these long boxes, so who knows? Ooh, let's start off with this stack. Yes, we have a lot of World Championship cards here. Uh, they look like there's like ink or something on them when I was taking a look before. Ooh, nice! Sungrass Prairie. Uh, I think this is worth over a dollar. Okay, so anything over a dollar. Volrath the Shapeshifter is a mythic. This might be worth over a dollar. Uh, blinding Power. Wow, old foil here. All the way back from the Kamigawa block. What do you guys think? We are returning there soon. I think that might be worth over a, foil. I'm, a dollar. I'm going to put that there. Lurking Informant. Old foil again could be covetous dragon. See, here's my concern when it comes to pricing these cards. Um, a lot of them look like they are either have like highlighter or something. They're very green on the outside. That could just be a natural aging process for a lot of these cards. But they don't feel like it. There's reserve list cards here. So what I'm going to do is I'm not going to price any of these cards here just because the damage is so extensive. But I'm going to let you guys take a look at these. Yeah, really cool guys. Cursed scroll, another good one. Yeah, that is awesome. I think there's a lot more of them throughout the collection that we'll take a look at. But uh, yes, we have Duress from, I think that's Dragons of Tarkir. Scoured Barons, Terramorphic Expanse, Baron Moor, Lonely Sandbar. Okay, so I'm just going to get through these fairly quick. Good card, though. Uh, Lonely Sandbar. Okay, yeah, so these look like it's, it's like the land section of these packs, Azorius Chancery. Those are useful cards, but uh, not sure they're worth, I don't think they're worth over a dollar. Rot Farm, another good card. These Bounce Lands. Is it Boiler Works is another Bounce Land as well in the Is It Color. Shivan Oasis, pretty cool. Oh, nice, we have some of the uh, Champions of Kamigawa Dual Lands. Really cool, Demir Aqueduct. More Bounce Lands, tons of Bounce Lands. Okay, there we go. I think this is worth over a dollar, Dark Steel. Ingot, yes. Indestructible, add one mana of any color to your We'll put that aside. Highway Robber from 9th edition. We got a few tokens there as well. Okay, cool. Let's go through a little more of this. Hope you guys are enjoying yourselves on this beautiful Sunday. Uh, the, the weather's just going to get worse from here, guys, so please enjoy it if you can. Really, the summers, I feel like they just come and go so fast. Retraction Helix, decent card. Um, so really, try to enjoy it, um, you know, especially during this pandemic. Some places, some people uh, are in different places that offer a little less freedom. You know, here in Toronto, I know uh, we've had a lot of things closed, but thankfully things are starting to kind of open back up now. But yeah, it's been hard. Weird Landscape, I think it's a decent card. Might be, ooh, a few of them there. This might be worth over a dollar, put those aside. Lumbering Falls, I think this is about a dollar or so. Not too bad. More of these uh, Battle for Zendikar Lands, uh, Leech Ridden Swamp, I don't think that's worth... Jungle Shrine, is that worth over a dollar? I think that might be. Those lands, actually, those uh, tri-lands that we got in uh, Cons of Tarkir, and uh, I think it went all the way back to, like, Conflux there, Shards of Alara, those actually are worth a decent amount. 
Not too bad. Hashup Oasis used to be decent. I don't think it's worth Oh, Grim Black Backwoods. Okay, so that's a rare. I'll put that aside. Ghost Quarter. I think that's definitely worth at least a dollar. Another rare land. Grixis Pan Panorama. Okay, let's just keep going through here. These panoramas are actually okay, though. Oh, there you go. We got um, Ground Yard Temple. That's another rare land. Oh, there we go. Look at this. Command Tower. There's a whole stack of them here. Oh, my God. All from different commander sets. I think these are all about a, around a dollar a piece. Hopefully, uh, if it is, you would see it on the screen there. Okay, what else do we have? I'm actually happy I started off with the lands first. There's another rare land from uh, from Battle for Zendikar. I don't know if it's worth over a dollar. We have more of those tri-lands as well. Arctic Flats. Okay, we got a rare artifact, Astral Cornucopia. Firemind's Vessel. Then we go back. Oh, nice, Vault of Whispers. I think this is around a dollar. I think a lot of those artifact lands that came out in Mirrodin are worth around a dollar. So I'm going to uh, get the next stack going here. More lands. <laughs> Tons of lands. Oh, nice. Temple of Silence from uh, Corset 2020. Another temple. Two Temples of Mystery. I think it was around a dollar. Uh, it's actually good. Uh, one of the better lands. Oh, nice. Sanctum of Ujin as well. I don't think it's worth over a dollar, but we'll put it aside. More of the Tri Lands. Rogue's Passage, another very useful land. Uh, not Radiant Fountain so much, but yes, more of the Tri Lands there. Okay, nice. We're getting somewhere, guys. We're getting. Oh, my <laughs> Mystifying Maze. Awesome. Yeah, we have a lot. There's another Konza Tarkir Tri Land. A lot of decent cards for decks in here so far. So, uh, whatever I, I can't really. Uh, trade, you know, put some aside for giveaways and throw some in our decks, and obviously I'll, I'll be collecting some of them. I'll see, I might make a bunch of, like, popper decks out of all this stuff, and you guys can check that out. Oh, nice! Are these all foils? There's a bit of a curve to these cards. L older, older foils. Uh, we have an Iron Barb Helion from Fifth Dawn. Echoing Ruin, nice! From Darksteel. Bloodskill Prowler Seismic Spike. Battle Rampant. Frostling. Oh my goodness. Unfortunately, look at all these old foils. They're not old border foils, but these are quite old. Uh, these are worth like, these are like 16 years old right now. Barrel Down, Sozakin and Rage. We have Boiling Earth. That's not, not really an old one though. Pain Racker Uni. Kami of the Waning Moon. Wow. Roof <laughs> Stalker White. This is crazy. Infectious Hose. Vicious Betrayal. Look at all these. Grizzled Grinner. Cremate. Foul Imp. Wow. Oh, nice. We get some of the mirrors too. Alpha Mirror. Not too bad. Peter Golem, Demir Clue Stone. It's not super old, but... Okay, so it's a mix here now, but some really, really old foils here. Now, depending on conditions, some of them can actually go for over a dollar. If any of them go for over a dollar for mar market price, I will throw that on the screen there. Okay, more foils. Teller of Tales, not bad. Bewilder, that might be worth over a dollar. Conjurer's Ban, very nice. Rally the Righteous, Gruel Guild Mage. I think this one's worth around a dollar. Gold Mirror, Armory Spirit, okay, Dreamstone, Hedron. I think that might be about around a dollar. Hedron Archives is a good card. Guardian Idol, Ooh, Commander Sphere, another really good card. Oh my god, if I'm missing anything, please let me know because these are a lot of cards to go through here. Hopefully, this video is not. Uh... Oh, nice! We have some uh, Signets. Look at that! Beauty. I think those are around a dollar. A lot of commander players use those. More more signets here. Yeah, so if... Um, oh, nice talisman, I think, as well. These might be worth over a dollar. Yeah. If I miss anything, which I probably will with this video, to be honest, uh, let me know in the comments. Uh, this is absolutely incredible. I can't believe uh, that I got this random buy at a flea market. It's not my typical way of doing it. But uh, now that I know that there is a flea market, flea market that does have Desperate Rituals is used in Storm decks... Um, a, a place where I could buy magic cards. I'm going to try to go there at least, uh, at least once a month. I don't think I'm going to go every week. I'm going to wait for them to at least find ways to acquire more, more cards, but, um, nice rare there. But, uh, yeah, definitely going to hit that place up again. Uh, very, very cool. Look at all these cards in Aether Revolt. We got Torment's Crypt. That's a good card. Control Magic. This is the reprint with the Therese Nielsen artwork from Eternal Masters. Really cool. Sigil of the Empty Throne. Another Glorious Anthem. I think that's at, at least over a dollar. Really, really nice. What? Foil Rare? Slumbering Torah from Betrayers of Kamigawa. Wow. 
Now that is beautiful. I'm not sure if it's worth over a dollar though, but old foil. Very, very retro there. That is awesome. Oh, you got some slivers. Can't go wrong with some slivers. Harmonic sliver, I think that's over a dollar. Dark Heart of the Wood, nice. Trinket Mage, Confiscate, not bad, not bad. McVat, we got two of them. Necroplasm, we got Entomb and Buried Earth, which I'm not going to count because they are quite damaged. But yes, we have some more of the championship deck stuff. Uh, Ever After, Ixadron, Thieving Amalgam, Scroll of Fate. Don't think any of those are worth over a dollar, however. Um, Pirate Spellbomb, a few of those. Aether Sphere Harvester, okay. Rishkar, Pima, Renegade, Deflecting Palm is a great card, but I don't think it's worth over a dollar, unfortunately. Then we got a Call of Herd and a Roar of the Worm. All right, really cool. I'm trying to separate piles here of uh, stuff that might be valuable that I'll have to price out later over here. I'm gonna put these guys all back. Okay, good stuff. All right, there's uh, one stack done. I'll put this over here. And we will get over to another stack of cards here. Ooh, yeah, this is exciting. I really miss doing random buys, so I'm happy to be back with one here today. Okay, so what do we got here? We got some multicolor. Hopefully this is uh, all multicolor in here. This will be easy to go through. Uh, Rakashasha, Death Dealer. We got, oh, wow, a lot of them. Those are rares. I'll put those aside. Uh, okay, Shaman of the Pack. Radiant Kavu, okay, rare from Plane Shift. Pretty retro there, Electrolyze, good card, but not worth anything. Uh, we have a Pristine Skywise, that is a rare. Let's keep going, oh, Avatar of Discord. Might be worth something, I'm not too sure, I'll put it aside anyways. Um, that's where I'll do all the research. The editing for these videos is a real pain though, I have to admit, yeah. Because uh, I gotta watch the whole footage over and over again, make sure I'm not missing anything, which I'm, I know I will 100%. It's just, uh, it's just inevitable. It just happens. March of the Tomb, because there, there looks to be a lot of rares here and a lot of, you know, it's half decent uncommons and commons that might be worth some money. So I'll have to price them out. Uh, I'm only counting stuff worth over a dollar, so it saves me a little bit of time with editing. Rebel Belt Raiders, that's a rare. Um, hope you guys understand that. Also, let me know in the comments. Is there any? Ooh, more rares. Any flea markets near you? And if so, do they have magic cards? Let me know in the comment section below and I will make sure to read that. Because I'm always looking for more places to buy magic cards in my area. There doesn't seem to be too much, neither rare or mind swipe. Um, but now that I found this one spot, I am very happy about that. Because, ooh, nice fallen shinobi. Because it's very, very hard to always just look online it just feels it's 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 annoying i like going out there and hunting for real like going face to face and uh, bartering making deals with people niv miss it i think that might be definitely worth over a dollar wild canter is actually a decent card i can put that aside shroom the hedgemon oh look at that marie cree barrett yes this is the commander i think um uh, i'm pretty sure post malone was using in his episode with uh, the command zone not bad Sabra, Queen of the Golgari, another rare. Hanadon of Night's Reach. I know a lot of these shrines are going up recently. Oh, nice, a mythic. Bloodlord of Vazgoth. This might be going up soon. A lot of vampires are going to be going up soon because of Crimson Vow, Innistrad. So if you guys are looking to do, you know, a pretty generic spec, maybe look into buying some vampire cards that you think are undervalued, and maybe uh, you'll actually do pretty good. Aether Snap as well. Guilt Leaf Winnower. More rare. Necropolis Fiend. So we got a few rares there in a row. Doom, look at that Doomblade. That's crazy. Love that. That's one of the dual decks, I think. We have uh, Arc Fiend of Spite, another rare Indulgent Tormentor, Doom Necromancer. Another Mythic Boneyard Parley, Champion of Stray Souls, from under the floorboards, another zombie card. Uh, Human Wizard Flesh Carver, another rare Dispoil of Soul. Oh my goodness. How many rares in a row are you going to get? Priest of the Blood, right? Uh, Ghoul Draz Overseer, Night Howler. Uh, Afinia the Cacophony, Soul of Innistrad, yeah. Okay, so we are getting, I'm not even going to say them out loud, look at these cards, we're getting a ton of rares. Oh my god. Yeah, I think it was definitely worth it. Let me know in the comment section after you watch the video, or during the video, if you think that this purchase was worth $200. I think it was a decent deal. Um, 
Well, I mean, considering he was trying to sell like each card for a dollar, it's like, yeah, I don't know about that, man. I don't think you're gonna be selling these cards for a dollar. I mean, there's some that would definitely go for over a dollar. Uh, but, uh, yeah, that's a lot of work for people to go through. I think he was happy to just get these cards out of the way and, um, you know, purchased in a lot like this. Nice, Ghastly Conscription, two Mythics there. One of two different versions of it, cool. King Makar the Gold Cursed. We have another Mythic, Brutal Horde Chief. Fortunately, a lot of these Mythics from this era, you know, Fate Reforged, they're not really worth a lot because it's all about the fetch baby back then. Blood Soak Champion, not a bad rare. Masker Girl, uh, Glint Sleeve Siphoner. Dream Stealer, got a few of those there. Silumgar Assassin, Hour of Glory, that was okay in standard at the time. Never to return, that's definitely not true when it comes to going on a flea market, I'm always going to return to that place now. Yahini's Expertise, Gaunti Lord of Luxury, got two of those. Silumgar, it's another one. Demir House Card, okay, it's got Transmute, it's actually a decent ability, I don't think it might be worth around a dollar. Zombify, great card as well. Um, okay, so we're back to... Okay, so now we're back to a few rare, I mean, uh, pff, uncommons and commons. Chilling Rats, great card, though. Put that aside. Uh, doo -doo -doo. Yeah, it looks like, uh, okay, so that's it for that pile here. Uh, let's keep going with these uh, black cards here. And then we'll go on to another stack. Hopefully this video is not uh, over an hour long, my goodness. And if it is, I sincerely apologize, but hopefully you guys are relaxing, having a coffee, maybe eating some food. Maybe drinking a beer and watching this video and enjoying it as well. That's probably what I'd be doing, actually having a beer while uh, watching people go through magic cards. Nice! We got a few more rares here. Hidden stockpile, okay. Another rare, Channel of Horde Worm. It looks like we might have some complete commander decks. And they're like 2018, 2019 rares. So oh, I just spilled a bunch of cards, damn it. <laughs> uh, so um, there might be some you know whole decks that I can just go and piece together and just sleeve them up and get ready to play. But there is some decent cards in these last few Commander years. I think Dockside Extortionist is another one. Um, yeah, so the Decimate goes there. There's a couple other ones, but I think that one's around like $70 right now. Something absurd. Gleam Crawler. Uh, okay, Teneb, the Harvester. Another rare here. Okay. Let's keep it going now. Oh, we got another one, Dusk Stalker. This is going to be an insane video. Another rare there. To, oh my god, there's just, it feels like there's a rare in every other pile. Every uh, third card is a rare. Rebel Hulk as well. Righteous Cause. Curse of Vitality. Okay. Reaper of the More rares. Look at that. Oh my god. None of these, uh, a lot of the rares that we went through so far, I will say, though, I don't think it's worth over a dollar. So, a lot of it was kind of like bulk rares. Dance of the Mance. Secret Plans went up. Uh, with all the morph cards uh, fairly recently, especially the foil of this, but uh, I don't think that one's worth much, unfortunately. Let's keep going. Well, let's keep going. Another Sagumaler. Nice! Wear and tear. I know that's worth at least a dollar. Put that aside as well. Consuming Aberration. Uh, that is another decent card. Graze of Granite. Gerald's Orders. Okay. Wow, this is crazy. This is going to be a nuts video. Sphinx Summoner. So many cards to go through here. Oh my god, Razia's Purification, yep, that's uh, it's going aside too. Holy cow, yeah, let me know, what was the last uh, random buy you guys have done? And uh, did you make a profit with the cards? Did you, were you able to use the cards? No, Shereen is a decent card though. Baron Spite, nice, not bad. Uh, Carnival Hellsteed, nice and mythic as well. Yeah, let me know if you guys were, uh, had any good luck with random buys. Um... I think this is the best score I've, I've had in, a, in quite a while, since probably the long box I got at a thrift store. This might be like uh, one of the better buys. Rakdos Charm, I'm pretty sure that's like a dollar. Ethereum Horn Sorcerer. Refuse to cooperate. Jin Illuminations. Yeah, wow. My voice is going to be dead by the end of this video. Oh my god. Avatar Discord again. Uh, so many cards to go through. Simic Sky Swallower. Oh my god, Coiling World is a good card as well. Psycho Mauler, oh my god. Terminate, great card. Uh, breaking and entering. Okay. My god. Unbelievable amount of rares here. Rares and mythics, it's crazy. Even if they're just bulk rares and mythics, I still think I would uh, make a profit. There's just so many of them. Dis dispossess. Yeah, this is a great buy. I can already feel it. This is a great buy. There's so much more to go through, too. This, is, this might even have to be split into two parts. Uh, I hope not. This might just be a very long video. Uh, March from the Tomb. 
yeah, unbelievable. This is going to be crazy to go through all these. Oh my god, this is, this is nuts. Death Grasp. Crazy, the amount of rares that I'm uh, finding in here. I thought it was mostly going to be, even though it was just like bulk commons and uncommons, and a few rares here and there, uh, but I'm uh, more than uh, pleasantly surprised by all the uh, rares and everything we're getting. Hopefully, oh nice, Dark Art Sliver, we have a Sliver, I can put that aside. Yeah, the, the, the value, trust me, it's going to add up, even in bulk, you know, like if, if it's, it's going to be worth it. This is a great purchase. Another Sagu Mauler. So many great cards here. Really, really happy with this purchase. Happy you guys could come along for the ride and see me go to the the uh, flea markets. Hopefully I'll take you guys there again one day uh, and show you guys more of the stuff that they have in the store. I was uh, potentially even going to look for Marvel Legends because uh, the last time I was there was like five years ago and I, I was mostly going for Marvel Legends at that point. Again, that's uh, another hobby of mine. I like collecting Marvel Legends. What else do you guys collect? Or is it just Magic the Gathering cards? Is that most of your... Is that your biggest hobby? Let me know in the comment section below. Okay. Here we go. We got another stack here. Another stack of cards. What's in this one? Oh, we got green. Ask them, isn't this card worth a, like around a dollar? Thank you. I'm going to put that one aside. Reap and Sow, Stomp and Howl. Great, great names. Cloud Thresher. Okay. That's a rare. We'll put it aside. Might Sliver, another Sliver, putting the Slivers aside if I find more Slivers. Slice and Twain, okay, that's from Ixalan. Okay, let's see what we get. Oh, another one, and this is Renewal. Keep going until we see some, oh, rares, there you go. Speak of the Devil, Honored Hierarch, I don't think it's worth over a dollar though. Cultivate, that is, that is, we'll take that. Explore. Farseek, there you go. Great card there. Fantastic. Harmonize. Don't think it's worth over a dollar, but I'll put it aside because it, it's a decent card. I might throw it into a deck, a janky deck I'm making. Second Harvest. Thragtus, I think that's about a dollar. Fresh Meat, Rampaging Ballast, Soul of Zendikar, Giant Ediphage, and we have Acidic Slime to end that run of Rares and Mythics. Circuitous Root, there you go. I'm pretty sure that's about a dollar as well. Very nice hit. Okay, so we are getting some cards over a dollar here. Rampant Gloth is a, a useful card to put that aside as well. Wow. There you go. We got Arashi. Uh, Sky Asunder. You got Centaur, Vine, Crusher as well. Landmark Elves, great card. Elves of the Deep Shadow. Rampant Growth, Boreal Drew, all very useful. And we have another rare Outland Colossus. Uh, Bodaka Gardener. That is a rare. Another rampant growth. Not bad. Put that aside. Whew, this is a craziness. Craziness here. I, I might even have to split this in the two videos. This is unbelievable. Unbelievable so far, the amount of uh, cards we have to pull out of here to check for value. This is crazy. <laughs> this is going to be like the most difficult editing I've had in quite a while. Yeah, but uh, nonetheless, we're going to get through this here, guys. And uh, hopefully there's a lot of hits that we haven't seen yet that we'll discover. Foe Razor Regent. Okay, let's keep it going. Blossoming Defense is a good card, but I don't think it's worth over a dollar. There's Moments Peace there. From one of the championship decks. Cultivate again, there you go. Uh, Turn Timber Sower. Great, great, great pull. Scute Mob, I think it's around a dollar. Gold Gary Graves, well, I think this is a, a, about a dollar fifty around there. Could be off on that. Okay. Teamer Sabretooth, that is a good card. And then we have a Crash of Rhino Beetles. Yikes, that's terrifying. Uh, yeah, another Acid Moss. And we got Outland Colossus again. Brood Monitor. Teamer Sabretooth again. Good card. Good card. Yeah, there's so many. Another rare. There is so much value in here. It's unbelievable. This will definitely add up. Crazy craziness. Unbelievable. Okay. I'm going to not talk for a little bit and let's just go through. I'll put some cards aside like these. 
Another decent card. Another rare. Woo! Unbelievable. Elvish Mystic, another good card. My god, this is crazy. I, I can't even get a flow going. So I have to stop for rares and, and mythics and stuff all the time. I'm not complaining about that, by the way. That is not a complaint. I'm, I'm very happy with that. Hunted Troll, rare. This is Renewal, another rare. Oh boy, crazy, crazy stuff. Colony Heart Expedition is actually a pretty useful card. I don't think it's worth over a dollar though. Sylvan Scry, another decent card. Another rare. This is crazy stuff. I can definitely build a few Commander decks after this. Yep, another rare. Whip Tongue Hydra. Far Wanderings, Arbor Colossus. Oh my goodness, this is crazy. Oh wait, that's Kadama's Reach. I almost missed over, went over that. That's a, a Chinese version, I think, or Japanese. Nessian Wilds, Ravager, Living Hive. Wow. Cidic Slav again, Thicket Elemental. Oh my goodness. My goodness, Ren's pack, uh, Run Pack Master. So crazy, my God. All these pulls, all these pulls. This is nuts. There you go. Moving wall tracker. Harmonize again. Rampant growth. We have a ethereal elk. Wood el walker. Uh, Waker root elemental, I should say. Someone's crying again. <laughs> Creeping renaissance. Wow. Unbelievable. Look at all these rares. Silk lash spider. Rishkar, Pima, Renegade, Cultivate again. Great card. Look at that. I'm just knocking everything over. There's going to be so much piles of value that I'm going to have to go over. This is just crazy. Forgotten Ancient. Oh, look at that. There you go. Definitely a few bucks right here. Verdran, Enchantress. Very, very nice. Happy with that pull. Definitely a good one here. Fantastic. Uh, we got Plated Slagworm. I know most of these rares, by the way, are going to be uh, from the looks of bulk rares, but I know the value is going to add up. Elves of Deep Shadow. Even just some of the commons and uncommons, I'll probably be able to potentially trade some of them. Try to up value to get some reserve list cards, maybe, perhaps. Yeah, that'd be kind of cool. Let's put these back into here now. The ones that weren't worth pulling out. Put these all aside. All right. Here we go. Next stack. It is a black stack here, it looks like. Okay. Let's see how much value we're pulling out of here. All right. Let's do it. Starting it off with rares right away. Nightmare Unmaking. Put those over there. Uh, no, don't think. Oh, Bringer of the Black Dawn. There you go. Another one. Skeleton Shard. Soul Flare. Wow. This is crazy. Unbelievable. Very happy with this. Very, very happy with this buy. Okay, another rare again. My god, so many rares, mythics, and just oh, pull worthy cards in here. It's unbelievable. But again, if I miss anything, oh, there you go. Speaking of what. Whew, really nice. Darkest Hour. This is one of the cards that I actually saw uh, when I was going through some of these little stacks fairly quickly. Darkest Hour. Yeah, this is the uh, lineup of cards that I pulled out. Bloodline Keeper. When I saw this, I was like, you know what? I'll, I'll make a deal for everything. Because uh, this card right here, yeah, you're going to see the value. Very, very good. Especially now with uh, you know another Innistrad set coming out. Blackmail as well. Blood Artist. Another card uh, that's Tied to Vampires is probably uh, at least five bucks right now, too. Necrotic Ooze, not bad. Uh, Endrek Sar, Master Breeder. We have Crest for, Quest for the Gravelord. And then we're back to, looks like, commons and uncommons right now. Which is not bad because that's a uh, Dark Blast is pretty cool. Uh, you know, yeah, pulling a lot of uh, stuff to price later on. Unbelievable. So let's go through here. Nothing of real value that I'm seeing. So we're just going to blast through it real quick. Okay, let's put these aside. 
Pull out another stack and let's keep going. Tar Fiend, another rare. Uh, Diabolic Tutor, I think that's about a dollar, this uh, this version. Okay, Mary the Cursed. Yep, we'll take it. We'll take it. Necroplasm, Vampire Nighthawk. Love that card, by the way. Love that card. Dark Imposter, Gatekeeper of Malachar, another decent card. Okay, let's keep it going. Pick the Knight's good as well. Aether Snap, look at that. Got Pestilence as well. Uh, Read the Bones, Plague Wind, love that. Wall of Bone, Brain Spoil. Read the Bones again. Sickening Dreams, another one from uh, one of the World Championship decks. We got Glint Sleeve Siphoner. Sanger Art, <laughs> nice. Put that aside. Blood Tribute, decent. Bane of the Living, Consuming Vapors. Your house card. Okay, Mega Trader to Mortals. Killing Wave. Nice. Not bad. Leshrac Sigil, uh, Sigil. That is uh, from Cold. Uh, yeah, from Ice Age, I mean. Planeswalker Scorn, another rare. Dash Hopes. Love that. This is a lot of people specced on this card when it first came out. Good card, though. Necropolis Fiend, Silmgar Assassin, Chancellor of the Dross. Another rare. Wow. Zombify, good card. Undercity Plague, another rare. Oh, nice. Is this Japanese art? Yeah, I think this is the Japanese art version of this card. Not bad. This actually might be worth a, a few bucks. Let me put that aside. Asylum Visitor. Grim Reminder. Hex as well. Silmgar Assassin, again. We have a play, at least a place of that now. Stitch together. Okay. Will, oh, I can't believe this is a rare. All right, and there we go. Uh, yeah, still got a lot more cards here. My God, this is gonna be a very long video. Very long video, Curse of the Cabal. Drain life, nice. Okay, let's go. Let's go through Pawn of Ulamog. I think it's about a dollar at least. Oh my god, this is insane! So much value! We have Lindol the Necromancer. Uh, Life's Finale. Gary. Doomfall Desecration Demon. Playcrafter, great card, by the way. Blood Craze Paladin. So much value. Soul of Innistrad. Oh my god, there is... Speaking of Innistrad, there you go. So much value to pull out of here. Another rare as well. My god, unbelievable. This might be the best uh, random buy I've ever had in terms of what I paid and what I'm getting. Magus of the Abyss. Yeah, like, I mean, I'm not even adding up any of these World Championship decks. I think they're just, uh, the, they're just too beaten up. And it looks like someone inked over them on the sides of the highlighter or something. Fate Unraveling, but, uh, you know, there is reserve list cards in there. Go for the Throat, good card. Knight's Whisper, good card. It might be worth over a dollar, too. I'll have to check that out later. Fiend of the Shadows. Another World Championship card. Disciple of Bolas. I think that's about a dollar at least. Not bad. And Tomb Sylvan Primordial. There we go. Soul Devi Innate. We have Damnable Pact. Swarm of Bloodflies. Okay. Another massive stack to go through here, guys. And then we're... We've only done three boxes and we have, oh my god, there's so much cards to go through. This is unbelievable. I forgot how many cards we have to go through here. This is crazy. Okay, and luckily we're going through Battle for Zendikar stuff, so it's easy to pass over those. Small box. I'll put that aside. That's a decent card. I don't think it's worth over a dollar, though. Oh, there you go. Pulse of the Dross. One with nothing. Great card. It might be worth a few bucks. Wow. So many cards to go through. I really do uh, hope you guys... I really uh, hope you enjoy these videos. I'm pretty sure you do. They do get the most views most, uh, most of the time. Avatar of Woe is stitched together. Not bad. Okay, let's keep it going. Nothing nothing to see here so far. Nice whisper, good card again. Cutthroat, not bad. Diabolic Tutor, that's worth at least a buck. Okay, we have another stack done. Thank God. Thank 
God. Okay. All right. Let's get through. Let's get through this, guys. This is going to be a long video, but hopefully you guys can stay all the way to the end with me. Enjoy these cards, because I'm enjoying these cards a lot. Look at this. Look at all these World Championship cards here. My God. Unbelievable. Got some planes. I'm not going to count the value for all these type of cards, because, you know, the... They're just in awful condition. But let's just take a look at some of these. Beautiful. Do you guys miss these championship cards? I think they should bring something like this back. They have it for Pokemon. I don't know if they still sell those decks for Pokemon. I know they were doing something similar. We'll pause on any card that uh, is worth pausing over. Like a reserve list card or something like that if we do see one. Look at old lands too. Cool. Oh, there you go. We're talking about reserve list. There you go. You got Karn right there. Cursed Scroll. Masticor. Yeah. Covetous Dragon. Misha's Helix. Look at these old cards here. Wow. Wrath of God. Look at that. Nice. You know, like these are pretty useful. You sleeve them up, throw them in a commander deck, you know, as long as your play group is okay with it. That's all good. Why not? I'm, I'm for that. It's all good. Okay. Yeah, nothing too crazy there. Upheaval, look at it. We're back to these cards again. Look at these. Wow, unbelievable. I know there's some pretty spicy cards in these World Championship uh, decks as well. We aren't seeing anything too crazy. There is a lot of good cards that we passed over. Look at that, Chainer's Edict. Wow. Imagine playing that now in Standard. Jeez, how broken would some of these cards be? Especially now that they're like powering down, it feels like. And more Wrath of Gods there. Okay. On to the next stack of cards. Let's do it. Let's pull something nice. Let's pull something nice. Going through these fat. Oh, there you go. Now we're hitting some rares. Ethereal Elk. Oh, nice. Ageless Entity. You got a place out of that. Not bad. Landware Elves, another good card. Same with uh, Acid Moss. Another Landware Elves. A lot of BFC bulk, though. But that's okay. We've already pulled a pretty decent amount of value. Martial Law! That's what some places in the world may be experiencing, unfortunately. Uh, we got Rule of the Law. Rule of Law. Uh, end Hostilities. Okay, we got some uh, rares here that are not... Oh, Blue Sun Zia. That's not bad. Another rare here. Lanessa. Stolen Goods. Clock Spinning. Brainstorm. Always a useful card. Sahili's Artistry. We got Pulse of the Tangle. Gaia's Revenge. Essence Warden. Another good card. Beast Caller Savant. Spell Pierce uh, from Ixalan, obviously. There, this card is printed so many times, though. From Beyond, we got some Ops here as well. Talent of the Telepath. More rares. Look at all these bulk rares there in a row. Uh, Joria's Time Bug. Okay. Now we're going back to the BFC bulk. Oh, nope. We got some Champions of Kamigawa here. Psychic Puppery is a good card. Only in a foil, this is actually worth a lot. Season of Growth. Okay. All right, let's get this last stack done from this little pack right here. I think this is uh, Through the Mists or whatever. Yeah, Reach Through Mists. Monastery Siege, another rare. Okay. All right, yeah, a lot of uh, freed from the real, freed from real. I think that's actually worth something in a foil. Hidden Strings is a decent card too, from one of the better cards in Gate Crash. Uh, we have Vizier of Many Faces. It is a rare thirst for knowledge. Another decent card. Factor of Fiction. I think it's worth about a buck. Dramatic reversal is another good card. Confiscate. Okay. Look at that shimmering wings. Now that, my friends, is old, very old. Ninja of the Deep Hours. Don't think it's worth over a dollar, though. Okay, so Stolen Identity. Okay, all right, let's put that aside. All Sun's Dawn, there you go. There we go. 
Trail of Mystery, Den Protector, Momentous Fall, Molder Slug, Tornado Elemental, Genesis Hydra, we got Terastodon. Ooh, look at that. Vertus Gear Hulk. I think these are about at least a buck each. I know they've come down a lot in price, though. Okay, and we got Frontier Siege. There you go. Is it Kemster? Fractured Loyalty. Carl Zev's Expertise. All right. Comet Storm. We got a Mythic. We have got a Mythic. Okay, Praiser Dragon. Alicia Smiles of Death. Then we get Increasing Vengeance with a Marshall Coop. Okay, I'm going to move these aside now. Ah, these piles are getting unbelievably huge. Whew, wow. All right, let's put these back into this stack. And we have two more of these size packages, and then we are going on to the long boxes. All right. There we go. Let's do it. Actually, no, never mind. We have four more of these. Oh, my God. Yeah, this might have to, this might be a two-part video, guys. Or we're going to have to go through these really fast, and hopefully uh, we might skip some value. I don't want to do that, though. Um, but wow, do we have a lot of stuff to go through still. I didn't realize how much uh, stuff was in here. Thankfully, it's just bulk right now, so we can go through it quickly. Look at that. Cranial plating, not a bad card. Char, it's a rare. Pulse of the Forge. Scab Clan. Oh, another Mythic there. Beacon of Destruction. Another Abyssin's Judgment. Not bad. Charmaker Devils. Anji's Ravager. Faithless Looting. Look at that. This is the, uh, using the, the art from the promo that came in the comic book. Wildfire Devils. Warstorm Surge. Okay. Squee! We got a squee! And his little pet. Flare of the Hatebound. Time Crafting. Okay. Uh, Detrivore. Form of the Dragon, Flame Rush Rider, Tectonic Helion, Young Pyromancer, I love that card, Chaos, uh, Chaos Imp, Pyre Heart Wolf, not a bad card though, Savage Fire Cat, Reality Scramble, uh, wow, Flare of the Hatebound again, I think, uh, Ion Storm, a Braid, another good card, wow, there's so many pull-worthy cards in here, it's unbelievable, try not to get too carried away because we have a lot of cards to go through. Okay, we got a Paralytic Feedback, Furnace Dragon, another Mizium Mortars, Follow the Titans, alright, this is crazy. Look at all these rares we're pulling out of here, this is unbelievable! So many, Atog, another decent card. Oh, wow, this is actually crazy, how much cards we're pulling out of here. Oh my god, my goodness, Call of the Full Moon, oof, yeah, people are specking out there, people are specking out there, that's for sure, with all the Innistrad spoilers. Okay, let's see, where's our next rare, I know it's gotta be coming up soon, gotta be coming up soon, there we go, PNLR, another one, there she is again, Harsh Mentor, not bad, let's put that aside. We got more Harsh Mentors. Whoa, five in a row right there. And they get Avaracious Dragon, Hondon of Infinite Rage, Ryusi, the Falling Star. Oh, we have two of those. And we got, it looks like, three Soul Scarring Mages. And there you go, Fury of the Horde. Not a bad pull. Not a bad pull. Dragon Master Outcast, Chain Reaction. We have two of those and a chain. Magus of the Wheel. All right, let's keep it going. Okay, yeah, like that card, I'll put it aside for now. Look, another Karizev. Karizev's expertise this time. A braid, cool. Another Karizev. Oh my god, there are so many of her Crater's Claws. Okay, let's keep it going. PNLR, two of those. Azada. Uh, Jiwari, the Earth of Flame. Okay. And then we got... What else? Flame Blast Dragon. Another Dragon Magma Quake. Wow, so much value. Oh my god, this is crazy. Vol Volcanic Vision, Devil's Play. Flame Wake Phoenix. Wow, this is it just won't stop. Dragon Whisper, another mythic. Oh my goodness. This is insane. Skyfire Phoenix. Uh, Stormkirk Occultus, Flame Sweep. 
Thunderbolts do it. Rift Bolt as well. Damn. That's a good card for uh, Popper if you want to build Popper Burn deck. Also sees play in uh, uh, Grape Chest. Well, that's another one. Uh, sees play in Boros Burn and Modern as well. Hunted Dragon. Empty the Warrens is decent. Another rare there. Wow. Yeah, now I'm just pulling aside the rares. I'm not even going to mention There's so many of them. This is crazy. Like, it's, it's unbelievable how many rares are in here. Look at that Goblin pile driver right there. Shrunder's Defeat. Okay, now we're hitting a... Going back to the BFZ. Commons and Uncommons. That's good. That's a good sign. We can relax for a bit. Not pull for for uh, a while, hopefully. Uh, nope, we got a rare there, Crater's Claws. Yeah, there's just so much value in here. It's unbelievable. Two team or battle rages, those are always good to pull out for decks. Wow, crazy. Unbelievable. Unbelievable so far. All right, another stack here. Let's do it. Let's go through. Ooh, we got blue, which means we're probably gonna get a lot of pulls here as well. Aether Gale, uh, yet more rares. Inkwall, Leviathan. Okay. Blue is always one of those colors that you go through and you're just like, yeah, uh, there's gonna be some value in here. It's blue. There's always value. Haunted of Seeing Winds. I think that's a decent card too. Another rare there. Another rare. Hunted Phantasm, Increasing Confusion. Sphinx of the Drawer Isle. Wow, this is unbelievable. What a random buy, huh? What do, what do you guys think this random buy so far? We haven't even gone through everything yet, but it, it's pretty, pretty amazing. I am really impressed with this. I gotta go back. That's all I'm thinking about right now. Like, man, I gotta go back again next week. Hopefully get some more cards. Uh, but I don't know. He said he's had these for a while, and not a lot of people ask for magic cards. They ask, well, like, Pokemon cards, um, which he had some. I, I didn't want to go through it there because uh, I had plans. But uh, he had Pokemon cards, he had Yu-Gi-Oh cards, and he does a lot of Marvel Legends and action figures and stuff. Um, that's his main draw is his action figures. A lot of old stuff there, old Toy Biz figures. Reweave, there you go. Pretty cool. Another Sphinx. Look at that. Wow, that's cool. Ah, uh, it's been painted over the edge. Ah, uh, that sucks. It's been painted on that. Jeez, what's wrong with people? Why do people do that? Why do people do that? We got clone. Okay, that might be around a dollar. Mole Drifter, great card. We got Tolerand. Compulsive Research. Tezret's Gambit. It's not a bad card. Mage is good too. Samaro, Fist, First to Dream. Okay, who had the first nightmare? I wonder, wonder if that did that in magic. Domineering Will, look, oh, more rares. Tall Rand again. The Unspeakable. Tomorrow, a zombie's familiar. My god, I'm definitely gonna be missing some stuff here, but I want to make sure I get through this so you guys can see. What a crazy random buy this was. Like, unbelievable. Look at that fairy formation. There you go. Yeah, wow. This is some crazy, crazy random buy. It was one I was not expecting because I had so much, uh, so poor luck, I should say, for the thrift stores recently that uh, I was not, I didn't have high hopes. And then when he mentioned he had magic cards, I was, I was really excited. I went, I went over to my wife, Veronica, and I just like nudged him, like, get the camera out now. Oh my God, they have magic cards. Let's do it. Let's do it. This video is going to be good. Tatsuka, I think this is like around a dollar. Ooh, commit. There we go. Yeah, there's just so much things to pull out of here. Look at another Primordial. Stroke of Genius. Cryptoplasm, Frexian Ingester. Frost Item, there you go, Mythic. Identity Thief. Cackling Counterpart. Mercule Pretender. Another Tezzeret's Gambit. Inf Infinite Reflection. Wow. Cadena's Silencer. Oh my god, so many cards to pull. Shapeshifter, not bad. Chrome Shell Crab. Mass Diminish. 
Thousand Winds, Stratus Dancer, Kuru Spell Snatcher, Sharding Sphinx, Wind Reader Sphinx. Oh, I got a lot of Sphinxes here. Uh, Glyph Keeper. We got a Thought Sponge. Lone Revenant. Tempt with Reflection. It's like every other card's rare. <laughs> this is crazy. Arbitrary of the Tides. We got two of those. And we got our last card here is another one, Icefall Regent. Yeah, it's literally every other card feels like it's a rare. Unbelievable. Another Lorthus. Mass Polymorph. Synthetic Destiny. Oh my god. Arbiter of the Deal. Leviathan. Oh my god, what's going on? So many rares. Guile. We got Mag Magus of the Mind. We have Shuyun Tempest, uh, Silent Tempest. Kuru Spell Snatcher, Guardian of Tazim. Miss Syndicate Naga, Captain of the Mists, Serendib Sorcerer. Oh my god, Part the Veil. Oh my goodness, Champion of the Woods. Free from real again, good card. Oh my god, this is insane. This is amazing, but insane at the same time. How much uh, rares are in here? Like, when I actually got it, when he, um, when he settled on 200, there was no way in my mind I was like, oh, okay, there's gotta be this many rares. No way! Like, it's insane the amount of rares. Azumi Lady of Scrolls, two of those. Light of Hand, another good card. And Reshape, there you go! <laughs> okay. Yes, we are getting some decent value now. Yeah, this is crazy. Unbelievable value in this. Like, all the, even like the bulk rares it will add up like crazy. Because there is people out there who will buy bulk rares. And uh, I think we have well over a few hundred now at this point in bulk rares. Fate Stitcher, that's a good card. Chomakis. I think I butchered that name. Stroke of Genius. Yeah, Mana Leak there. Concentrate. Icefall Regent. Wow, this is a crazy echoing truth. There's so much value to pull out of here. Oh my god, Notice the Frost. Tolerant again. Factor Fiction, another good card. Oh my god, this is just getting insane. I'm just pulling cards. I can't even... Hopefully you guys are watching this, not just listening, because there is just so much to pull out of here. It's unbelievable. This is crazy. Champion Woods, Gerald's Master... And look at that, another Herald of Secret Streams. Nuts. Oh my god, this is absolutely nuts. Putting these aside. I'm going to go on to the next stack of cards here. All right, we're gonna start with another stash here. There's two more to go. Ooh, this looks like there's a lot of rares in this one again. We gotta refocus. Okay, here we go. A Jute Soul of Winter, rare. Simic Charm, not bad, Azorius Charm. A lot of charms here in a row. Oh, we got another rare. Tipala Pilot Exemplar from Kaladesh. We got another charm as well. We got Naya Charm, we got two of those. Now we're getting some Ravnica Allegiance cards. It's pretty recent. Uh, okay. My Agatari Root Reflection Mage is a good card. Mirror Wave. More. Wow. Treasury Thaw. <laughs> Another rare. Yep. This is just absolutely insane. So many rares. Look at that. Mythic Planeswalker. Not a very pricey one, though, but we have a Ral Zarek from Commander 2019, I believe. Uh, Invoke the Fire Mind. Cool. Electrolyze as well. Uh, nice. Niven Rolls Disc, not a bad card. Ooh, look at that, Meek Stone. One of my favorite artists of all time, Quentin Hoover did this. Nice, I think this is the, uh, could be the fifth, four, fourth edition, I think. I think it's fourth edition. Not bad, yeah. Not too bad at all, more Electrolyze here. And then we got a Heraldic Banner, okay. Oh, nice, Mizium, Transalinquent, Arcbound Fiend, Arcbound Overseer, not a bad card at all. Really happy to see it. And Whisper Soul Cloak, another good card from Darksteel. Uh, we have Seal of the Guild Pack, another, uh, we have Arcbound Reclaimer this time, another Arcbound card. Voltaic Key, always a useful card as well. Uh, put that aside. Manifold Key, another good one. Okay, so we have Crashing Drawbridge. Okay, if I notice anything is worth any money. Infiltration Lens, I think this might be worth about a dollar. 
Trailblazer Boots, I think that one also might be. Probably the same as a good card, though. Put that aside. Crafted War Gear, there you go. And Contagion Clasp. <laughs> no. We're hitting a lot of decent uncommons, too, that are really adding up to the total of this. Okay, I think that actually might be okay, too. Kind of Bone Mule Retriever. Uh, okay, Thought Prison. Arc another Arcan Reclaimer. Ooh, Power Conduit, another good uncommon from Mirrodin. Wow, really racking up the value here. Another rare. Okay. Let's keep it going. Uh, Obelisk, that might be okay. Pentavis. Okay. Let's keep going through here. Jamar Gag, another. A lot of the. Uh, you have to check for the value of uh, this era, like the Mirrodin, Dark Seal. A lot of good, uh, valuable uncommons here. Okay. Fencer Sliver, another Sliver to add to the collection. All right, another Arc Band Overseer. Okay, we'll take it. Ring of Three Wishes, there you go. Magic 2014 Mythic. Another Cloak. Ultra Bone, there you go. Look at that. Reserve list. This is at least 10 bucks, I think. Wow, definitely going into the reserve list binder now. Rubina Soul Singer from Commander 2013 as well. Ghost Council of Orzova. I know it's not worth over a dollar, but it is a rare. Tristani Celestian's Voice, Mythic Reprint. Sadic Lord of Secrets. We have a Strata Scythe. Possessed Portal. Wow, Blink Moth Urn. Oh my god, a lot of good cards in a row there. Going back uh, to later sets. Really, really cool. A lot of these mirrors as well, very useful. Okay, and we have Gemstone Array. A lot of these uncommons from that era are worth putting aside. Tormund's Crypt, great uncommon as well. Ornithopter. Uh, Summoner's Egg, yes, okay. Clearing Spotlight, we'll take it as well. Uh, really, really cool. Wow, getting all these great cards here now. Sonic Lens, Desolator Twin, yep, that's a good card. Um, not worth over a dollar, I don't think, though. Another Meteor Golem, uh, Empowered Auto Generator, and a Scare Tiller. Okay, next stack of cards here. Steel Hellkite, okay. Meteor Golem, another decent uncommon. Let's go through here. A little faster, Torment's Crypt again. Another card worth putting. Oh, nice Bone Horde. I think that's at least a dollar as well. Very nice. Petri Pentavis as well. Pendant of Prosperity. Prototype Portal. Nice. Lord Seeker Stone. A Farsight Mask. We got a Ur Golem's Eye. Key to the City. We'll take it. Another Key to the City. We'll take it again. Okay, what else do we have? Come on. There's got to be something spicy coming up here. Mm-hmm. Oh, nice. Wand of the Elements. Mask of Memory. Worth putting aside. Soul Foundry. Okay, we have an Aeon Engine as well. Another rare. Uh, Aether Sphere Harvester. Icy Manipulator. Great Uncommon. Power Lotus Helm. Looks on Warhammer. That, uh, ch -ch -ch. Mirko. Wow, there's just so many cards. I know I'm going to skip over a few. Uh, that's a... Uh, I need you guys... As viewers to uh, call me out on, be like, hey, by the way, you missed that this time code. Then I can go back, look to my collection, and be like, thank you guys, you are the best. And you guys really are the best who watch my uh, videos. Corpse Jack Menace, I, I really do mean that. You guys are amazing. Altered Ego, okay. Fathom Mage, there we go. Borel of the Hull Clade, Armadillo Cloak. Uh, Spitting Image, Ethereal Absolution, Atarka World Render, and we have a Tangarth First Mate, okay. Uh, let's get through this pile. Just grabbing everything here now. Etched Oracle, okay. Reservator, anything over a dollar I will try to add if I can. Another sliver, love putting those aside. Uh, okay. Thran Golem, that's a rare. Not really worth much, but it is a rare. A lot of great uncons in this era, again. I'm sure you guys know that. Sign on Sanctum. Mirror Retriever, another decent card. Nope, that won't do it. That won't do it. We do have a rare, though. Orbs of Warding. Banshee's Blade, okay, okay. Unstable Obelisk. More Mirror Retrievers, my god. A lot of great cards here. Ronin Warclaw, I don't think that's worth too much. Ooh, nice. Saito Shape. Rare from Dissension. We'll take that all day. 
And then we have a Enigma Sphinx. Ooh, nice. Mythic. Sphinx of the Steel Wind. Burning Tree Shaman. Cryptborn Horror. Lava Lanch. Oh, got two rares back to back. Love seeing that. Let's see. What else are we going to get? Doom Blast here. Okay. Uh, Ojute's Command. Storm Chaser Mage is a good card to pull, put aside. Uh, Blood Hall Priest. Another rare. Blizzard Spectre. Salt Eye Charm. Evil Twin. There you go. From Innistrad. We are going back there real soon. Actually, we might be there by the time this video comes out, considering it's going to take me a long time to edit this. I will tell you, I'll tell you that for sure. Okay, let's keep it going. Growth Spiral, good card. Decent card. Oh, uncommons go there. Okay, Fire Mines Insight. Another rare to add to the pile. Pristine Skywise. Mercule Chemister. Crackling Drake is a decent uncommon. Silver's Command. Jamoka the Eternal. From Fate Reforge. Warfaring Temple. Cruel Ultimatum. Amara Tandris. Aerial Knight of Windgrace, a Worm Harvest, and a Ravinia Soul Singer from Chronicles. There you go. So you can tell it's got the Legends logo with the white border. Growing Ranks. Yep. And a Rakdos to Defiler. Uh, Experiment Kraj Noyan, Dar Royal Shaper. Barbormagos. Okay, I got two of those. Numet the Devastator from Planner Chaos. We have three. Coligan. We have three as well. Dramoka again, two. And we have these. Oh, yep. Yeah. These are definitely worth over a dollar. We got some Niv Mizzets to boot as well. Fantastic. Okay. Let's put these back in their stack here. And then we'll get on to the last little package before we go on to the long boxes, which I'm sure you all are waiting for. Um, I think there might be a lot of basic lands in there. So just an FYI to people. Might not be as exciting as we uh, are hoping. Okay. Speaking of not so exciting, we got white cards. Ooh, but look at that. Urza's Mine. What is this? A whole stack of this. Oh, nice. Look at that. We got a playset of Urza's Mine. <laughs> Another playset. And Urza's Tower. There you go. You got your playset right there. You want to play some Tron? Boom. There you go. You got the Urza's Lands right there. Fantastic. That is uh, Wick. Actually, what am I doing? Put these in here. I don't need this sleeve. Whatever it is. Okay, awesome. Now let's... Uh, Let's uh, see what else we have in here. It is white, so white's the least exciting color when I'm like gonna buy collections. If they're like, yeah, these are all my white cards. Like, eh, okay. I mean, there's still good cards in there. It's just white's never super exciting. Black and blue are, are really good. Red's good too, and green. To be honest, all the other cards uh, colors are pretty awesome. Uh, white is good, just not awesome the way that the other colors have cards in that are awesome. Cast out, we got a place up there. Renewed faith. Uh, we do have a rare gold main griffin. Uh, Loxodon Life Chanter. Okay, so we did have some rares there. Fencing Yates. A lot of play sets and stuff, which is really great for deck building later on, potentially. Okay, Apostle's Blessing. That is a really good card. I like that. Uh, I'm going to put it aside anyways, even though I know it's not worth over a dollar. There you go. Felidon Sovereign. I think this might actually be worth about a buck. Pretty good. Temple Acolyte. from One of the earlier dual decks. Hmm. Cool. Cathedral Sacrifier. Okay. Soul Warden. There you go. Sutra Priest as well. Two cards worth pulling. Increasing Devotion. Another rare. So, yeah, there you go. Souls of Tendon. I think it's about a buck, too. Okay. What else do we got? Oop. Another rare here. Hero of Goma Fada. Battle of Grace Angel. Force of Virtue. There we go. Angelic Renewal. Uh, okay. Not bad. Oh, nice. Celestial Ancient. Another rare Anafenza Kin Tree Spirit with a pristine angel. A little wear at the top, though, but not too, too bad. Toolcraft Exemplar as well from Kaladesh. We got three of them. Another pristine angel. Mythic from a, from a commander deck. An angel of sanctions from, I think, the same commander deck. And a wingmate rock from the same commander deck. We have a Butcher of Malachar as well. Oops, just knocked over a few cards at the top there. Sunblast Angel, another Toolcraft Exemplar. Nice. Paladin and Vec. We got a Hondon of Cleansing Fire. Soul Tithe, another Paladin and Vec. Silver Knight, Fate Sweater, Test of Faith. Okay, cool. Exciting. All right, next stack right here. 
All right. Let's see. What are we going to get? What are we going to get? Lots of foreign language cards in here as well. Uh, I don't really collect foreign language cards. And, you know, if I'm building decks, they don't really, don't really do it for me. Don't like having to double check which card, to, you know, with uh, all the text on every card. Speaking of which, there you go, another foreign card here. Foreign rare. Aegis Angel. Okay, what else do we got it's coming up? Oh, there you go. Arsh and Foremost. Stasis Snare. Oh, look at that. Regal Heracles. We have two of those. Vanquish. Custody Soul Binders. Genji of the Fields. Okay. Healer's Hawk. Oh, it's painted. Look at that. Some kind of marker all over that. Hour of Reckoning. Phyrexian Rebirth. Commander's Insignia. Doomed Artisan. Nice. Nice, uh... Cards in a row back to back there. We have a Thalius Geist Caller. And nothing else too exciting in that stash. Let's just go through this last big stash. Oof. That it is thick. Okay. We have Storm Herd. Increasing Devotion. Spirit Loop. I think it might be an okay. I'm going to put it aside anyways. Oh, jeez. Pilots are getting so big now. Uh, a Dark of Valkyrie. Ignite the Future, Dual Caster Mage. Uh, we have Cranial Plating, two of them, Dust and Dawn. Okay. Oh, nice. Luxon Gatekeeper. Pretty cool. All right. What else do we got here? Ooh, Wall of Revelance. There you go. Another rare to boot. My goodness. We're doing really good today. Storm Herd. Mace of the Valiant. Okay. Just putting all. Any decent uncommons I'm going to put aside too. Uh, just for decks. Uh, Divine Reckoning as well. Angelic Renewal. Sigil of the New Dawn. Righteous Aura. Angel of the Dire Hour with an Avacyn Guardian Angel. Angel of con con Condemnation. I'm seeing a theme here, guys. Deathless Angel. And then we got a Sephara Sky's Blade. Angel of Vitality. Emancipation. Sarah's Guardian. Okay. Near Death Experience. Kismet. Okay. I'm going back to some commons that uncommon. There you go, Luminite Primordial, another rare. Hidden Dragon Slayer. Gold Mane Griffin. Okay. And Offensa Kin Tree Spirit, we've seen you already. And we know your bulk. Mandate of Peace. Uh, Pent <laughs> Pentarch Paladin, not bad, all the way from Time Spiral. Okay, let's uh, blast through these cards now. Oh, nope, Phyrexian Rebirth can't go too fast. Fable Hero, another rare. <laughs> Hit a Dragon Slayer. Uh, Kithian's Irregulars, we got two of them there. Another Foremost. My Another Foremost. And then we get a Oracle's Attendance. Wow. Crazy pulls here. A lot of bulk rares, but, you know, they add up. Pulse of the Fields. Is that it for the white? It is! That is it. Okay, we are on to some exciting stuff now. These are the long boxes. Uh, well, maybe they won't be as exciting as I'm hoping, but... I did see more World Championship cards. Which the conditions were pretty poor, so... All right. Going with this long box first. Okay, looks, uh, yeah, looks like a lot of, uh, a lot of basic lands here, unfortunately, if you can see that in the front. But we'll go through. Let's see what we get. Okay, so a lot of basics, looks like it. Yeah, from here. Oh, nice, we got some full arts, though. We'll take some full arts. BFC, there you go. Hopefully get more, more uh, full art lands here, a lot of commander... Uh, lands as well. I don't, let me know what you got. I have so many basic lands. It's unbelievable. I mean, it's always good for, like, if I'm going to a draft, I just basically buy... I just grab a pile of lands in my stash. But I'm looking to donate some to LGSs because I have just so much. There we go. We got another full art land there. It's uh, definitely becoming a problem. I was hoping for maybe old border. Basic lands, and like maybe the older sets. That'd be kind of cool. 
Sometimes those, those really do add up in value, by the way, if you get older basic lands. Uh, even like onslaughts, uh, if you, that, that era, you know, like um, they add up. Those definitely add up. Oop, there you go. Full art. Okay. All right. More basics. Wah, wah, wah. Oh, look at that. I might have to go through these a little slower. Whoa. Look at that. Promo land. Okay, we're putting that aside. That might be worth a dollar or so. Wow. Okay. So maybe I should go through these a little slower than I was anticipating. If I see more of those, oh, that's really cool. So far, I'm not seeing it, though. But we are seeing more Full Art Lands. There you go. I know they're not worth over a dollar, though, but they're always good to pull aside. And that is that for that stash. On to the next stash we go. Nice, uh... Like that. Battle for Zendikar basics that are not full art. That means they came in one of those stacks that you get for uh, the intro decks, I think. One of those sealed intro decks. We got some more mirrored in basics. Those are actually pretty cool looking. Mm hmm. Okay, now it looks like we're going back to just pure basics. Okay, back to basics. That was a card we didn't pull. I guess that is a card. Now I'm just messing over piles. Yeah, that's great. It's just so, there's just so many cards that are just going all over the place at this this point. Oh boy, what am I doing? Look, I'm becoming a mess. I'm becoming a mess. Let's put those aside there. Okay. Nice. This is from originally, uh, I think, Onslaught. That's Swamp artwork. Rise the Eldrazi. Wow, we're getting some really... Going way back... Retro time with these basic lands. Just want to make sure it's it's just basics here. Okay, so that's what it looks like. Just basics. Oh no! Look at that. Speaking of which, no, we do have a foil basic. Very nice. Putting that over here. So there is some foils in here. Be on the lookout for that. Pretty cool. Okay. It's getting insane now. A lot of basics. But I wanna make, oh, love that artwork. Amazing. Okay, what else do we have in here? Anything else exciting to pull? And by exciting, I mean just like half decent, like, you know, that foil, <laughs> foil basic land. And the full arts that I got excited about as well. What else do we have? Come on. This video is definitely over an hour, by the way. I just realized that. Oof, that's going to be rough for you. Viewers, uh, hopefully you do enjoy these type of videos. Some people don't like videos too long. Some of them actually do because they can play in the background uh, while they're, you know, having a beer. Oh, there we go. There we go. We do have some older basics. Beautiful Mirage Island. I think these might be around a dollar. Yeah, Swamp. Look at that. Well, these ones might not be, but... The Mirage ones, I think they are. Look at that, another swamp. We're going back to invasion. Beautiful. Putting those aside. Nice. Okay, then we got some ninth edition ones as well. Back to Mirage. Beautiful Mirage land there. Okay. Still great art. Another Mirage land. Oh, love this mountain, by the way. Tony, fantastic artist. Urza's. Saga. Then we got some zombie tokens here. Uh, forest, forest. Got some more ninth edition forests there. Okay, so there's like a stack of stuff here. Okay, so we got so uh, what the heck is this? Oh my god! <laughs> I was like gonna look what what the heck this was. And I was like Dockside Extortion. I was actually just thinking we had like these full commander decks, and I didn't find this one at all. I was wondering where the heck it was. There you go, Dockside Extortion. This is even in a sleeve. Now we have a fierce guardianship as well. Look at these coasters sitting there. Okay, yep. 
yeah, that'll do it. This definitely pushed this random buy to insane levels now. Uh, I got some coasters there. I don't know what I'm going to do with those. But what is this? Is this like Bakugan or something? What is this? Let me know in the comments if you know what this is. Yeah, I have no idea. All right, I'm going to put that over there. Uh, we got some lockets here. Okay, some uh, artifacts that uh, made it into this box for some reason. Um, obelisk and Naya, more obelisks. Another one, a Bant one, Jund. Empty sleeve here, and then we got a morph token. Okay. All right, that's pretty cool. I'll take that all day. Wow. Okay, so we do have a dock side, and look, a nice uh, spinner right here. Cool. Not bad. Uh, don't know what these Bud Light things are doing here, though, but so, uh, okay. Put these over here. Wow, that was crazy. All right, well, I mean, that was a pretty lackluster long box, apart from the end, but uh, we have one more to go, and that is it for this random buy. I hope you guys all uh, have enjoyed this video thus far. Just a little ways more to go, but hopefully you guys have hung in there with me and had some fun watching this video. Uh, I know I've had fun uh, going through these cards, and I always love doing random buys. Always fun to do random buys. Okay, here he goes. This is a very dirty box. Look at this thing. It's filthy. Okay, we do have some good cards, it looks like, at the front. Well, at least uh, foily cards. We have Grevin, Predator, Captain... Uh, a Johnny Falcon Wrath, okay. I think, wasn't Joey specking on that card from Bad Boy Gaming? Um, Grimoire of the Dead. We got Reform. Windfall, okay, Windfall is actually a decent card. I think it's worth a few bucks. Uh, Maluko the Cloud Mirror. Capsize, another decent card. Nisa's Revelation. Foil, I don't think it's worth much, though. We have Geth Lord of the Vault, another card that might be worth over a dollar. Uh, these are definitely adding it to the total, though. Pretty, pretty nice. Uh, Obnixilus, okay. We have Behold the Beyond. Shiro Shizu's Caretaker, okay. Ruinous Path from Battle for Zendigar. And then we got a Flicker Form. And then, oh, this is from one of the... Is this the Gideon Spellbook one? Yeah, Martyr's Bond. Okay, that's kind of cool. And we got another one there from the list, it looks like. Let's see a little mark down there. Uh, Kest Dissonant Mage. Pristine Skywise. Boltling Marauder. We have, uh, yeah, a lot of commander cards here. Uh, Elish, Alicia of the Infinite, Savine, Pramacon, Atla, Palini, Marisi. We got Girid. Not bad. Oh, nice. This is definitely worth over a few bucks. Neko Tay. Pretty cool. Narset, the Enlightened Master. Pretty cool. Girl is a uh, Scar Striped. Dark Steel Ingot. Vessel of Endless West. Okay. Then you got a Deflecting Palm. Uh, Plax, Caster, Frogling, and then we got Melek is there as well. Time Wipe, Selesnia Charm, uh, Gerard's Command, Gerard's Weatherlight Hero, Banish into Fable, Banny Bluxa, Spirit Bonds, and we got another Commander card here, Satalpa, Primal Dawn, Ancestral Blade, Archetype of Courage, oh nice, Dark Tutelage, not worth over a dollar, but uh, not bad, Tassiger, Command of the Dread Horde. Yeah, we're just going back to lots of rares too. Blood soaked Ar altar. Oops. Uh, Isareth, the Awakener. Ingaruk's Wake. More commander cards. Overseal of a Dan. Guild. Helldozer. Profane Command. And Raise Forerunner. Thorn Mammoth. And then we got a Reclamation Sage. Very good uncommon. Explore. Decent card. The Mending of Dominaria with a Silver and Primordial. We have Rishgar, uh, Pima, Renegade, Mulgraf. Okay. We get a emissary of grudges, fanning the flames. We have a uh, magma quake, Giro's belligerence, belligerence, a heart piercer, shunt, thorn throws of chaos, Kumanu master Yambushi, gutter snipe from commander, captain and crew, mind's desire, wall of stolen identity, gutter response. I think that's about a buck. Uh, we get hinder there. Okay. Oh, look at Anger as well from one of the, uh, the World Championship decks. Hero's Blade as well there. Okay. Vanishing. Yeah, Fool's Demise. Another rare Ixodron. Drowner of Hope. Nabin, Barrel's Expertise, Bag of Holding. Scuttling Doom. Psychosis Crawler. Tons of rares here. My god, this is like unbelievable to go through. 
Okay, Desolator Twin. Uh, yep, yeah, it's a rare. I get more of these cards. I like the Tri Land ones. Let's see what else is in here. A lot of bounce lands. Any rare lands here? Is it just the Temple of False God is okay? Is, it, is that basically it? Oh, another temple. Evolving Wild Summon get Joey. Skycloud expands more of the uh, World Championship decks. Another temple as well. Okay, oh, another temple. My goodness, this is unbelievable. Shrine, that's a rare. I'm looking at my memory card right now, and I'm like, oh my god, I don't know if I'm going to make it. Like, I'm almost out of complete, like, I went through the entire, wow. I think I've, like, went through an entire hour and 20 minutes of footage. This is unbelievable. This is crazy. This is the longest random buy I've ever done, hands down. Will I do more like this that are this long? I don't, look at that flooded strand, amazing. Uh, I don't know. This is, a. Uh, it was... Shadow Blood. Uh, it was crazy to go through, but at the same time, um, oh, we got some basics here. It was. It took a lot of work to actually uh, go through this, and now I'm gonna have to edit. it. That's all I can think about right now. It's like, oh god, the editing's gonna be brutal. Ryami, we have Dust Stalker, Burning Tree, Blood Seal. Nice. Older cards there. Bloodstained Mire. Is this a playset? I think it is. I'm. Yep. Grim Monolith. Wow, look how beat up these are. Like just drew. Someone just got a. Marker just went nuts on these things. Put those two aside as well. City of Traders, look at that! All right, yeah, I'm definitely gonna be giving these away to patrons, um, so um, yeah, if you guys are signed up on Patreon, please check it out down below. Um, I will be giving out a lot of these, a lot of these World Championship cards because they have Marker on it and, you know, I, they're still good to play, they're just, for a collectible standpoint, I just don't really see the value in them. Uh, so I will probably just give them away to patrons. So, uh, I mean, some of them are very expensive. Like that City of Traders, they're pricey. They're pricey. I mean, maybe not in the condition uh, these are, but if you want to sign up for patron, you will be potentially rewarded. I'm going to be doing a bunch of giveaways next month. Um, so the month of October. Uh, so if you're signing up for October, and if you stay at least the entire month, at the end, they will be shipped out to you as a thank you for sticking around and supporting the Matt Caster. And, uh, yeah, thank you again for watching this video. This means a lot to me as we go through all these basic lands. Uh, nothing too exciting to see there. More basics! All right. Yeah, is this it? Okay, so it looks like it's basically basics now. Basically basics, yeah. that's uh, You don't get any more basic than that. Okay, let's... Is this it? Are we just going through basics? Yeah, it looks like it. Okay, guys. Well, oh, oh, oh no, we got some... Uh, Tokens as well. Some tokens they might be worth. I'll have to go through later, but most tokens are not really worth much unless they're really old or uh, very specific. So we got those there. And there we have it. Yes, more tokens. Thank you guys so much for watching this random buy. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, and let me know what was your favorite card that I actually pulled out of this collection in the comment down below. And yes, patrons, I will be giving away a lot of these World Championship deck cards that I've received in this random buy. So please, if you want to become a patron, sign up. It's the best time to do it because there's going to be some massive giveaways in October. Okay, with that being said, guys, I will see you in the next video as well. Being a patron will help me produce more market movers and add to the funds that I will use for my random buys and also to my coffee fund because I drink a lot of coffee for these videos. And here you can see a link below in the description that will give you all the tiers and what you get in each tier. So I hope you guys click and think about joining. And with that, I'll see you next video. Think about uh, supporting the channel in that way. If not, subscribe, like, leave a comment, and I will see you again in the next video.